How to draw a simple one-point perspective landscape. The horizon line is where the sky and the ground meet. It's also called eye level. The vanishing point is where your lines look like they disappear over the horizon. A vanishing point is always on your horizon line. I'm going to start my landscape by drawing my horizon line right in the middle of my paper. This is also my eye level. I draw a dot on my horizon line to represent the vanishing point. Next, I draw diagonal lines from my vanishing point to the bottom of my paper. This will make it look like we're standing in the middle of a road or path. I'm going to be adding trees along the edge of my road. I start in the foreground with one large tree. As I add more trees, they will get smaller and they will be overlapping. The trees that are further away are smaller and look like they're behind the trees in the foreground. The closer my trees get to the horizon line, the smaller they are. Now I'm going to add some more details to the middle ground of my landscape. I'm creating some lines to look like faraway hills. Lastly, I add some details to my background. This is the part of the landscape that is furthest away. It usually includes things like clouds, the sun, and the moon. By using my horizon line, a vanishing point, and techniques such as size and overlapping, I've managed to create a nice sense of distance and space in this landscape. I can also use color to, to create a sense of distance and space. The trees that are closest to me will be darker in value. As I move towards my horizon line, colors tend to fade and get pale. This is called atmospheric perspective. You can see it in photography. I hope you enjoyed creating a landscape and learning about one point perspective.